Stereo Bucket on Twitter sent me a private message about an easter egg he found in the VLC player. After video is finished, VLC shows the VLC logo, but when he watched the Kill Bill movie, after the film ended, it showed this. A little Kill Bill easter egg. It made his day, but it also made him wonder about the implementation. He quickly figured out that it works with any video that has Kill Bill in the title. So that is a very good information to narrow down how it could be implemented. But let's quickly reproduce it. So here's a regular video that we can open in VLC and when we reach the end we will get the logo, that's the normal logo. Now simply changing the file name as I do here doesn't work, it's, it is still the old logo. But if we go into the file properties and edit the metadata title and then open it, go to the end, then we reproduce the easter egg. Over my own career in programming and IT, I used to never look at the source code of things. I was scared or maybe just intimidated by it. I never looked into the sources of frameworks I used or even programs I used. Nowadays I do that quite frequently because a lot of basic stack overflow questions can be avoided if you just read the source code. So I thought maybe I can help you lose some of the fear by showing you a great example. Let's start by looking for the VLC source code. I'm not sure if I'm just dumb, but I think the source code is way too much hidden here. Come on, it's an open source project, be more proud of your code. Anyway, here's the repository link. So Stereo Bucket obviously tried to search for Kill Bill in the VLC source code, but it wasn't successful. I tried to look into the memory when VLC is running and still no luck. I'm currently trying to find mentions in the source code, but they either hit it well or I'm just bad at this. Nah, you are not bad. It's of course not easy to quickly head into a large code base and find exactly what you're looking for, especially if it's an easter egg that they maybe try to hide. I want to see if there's perhaps more easter eggs of this kind or at least find how they hid it. That's a really cool project. So I quickly used github tool to clone the repository, which takes quite a bit, it's quite large. And I have here Visual Studio where I open the clone folder. And as you can see, if we search for Kill Bill, we don't get anything. Unfortunately, I didn't find the time to look myself, but a bit later, Stereo Bucket came back to me and found it. Here's how he described his approach. I stopped being dumb and looked for the image that was used. See, that's a clever approach. The goal is to find the easter egg, and sure, searching for Kill Bill is one way, but you could also look for the image instead. And yes, we find the file name referenced here. Then I just trace the name of this image to an alias and that alias to the file where it's mentioned. And we do the same, follow that alias here, leads us to this here, and that's it. Initially I just tried looking for any mentions of kill bill or kill or bill, which doesn't work since you can see they split the string with comments. I know it's like super simple, right? But, but this doesn't mean me or everybody else will do that right away. It also took Stereo Bucket quite a bit, and I think that's just such a great example of how your mind slowly finds the right approach. I went as far as compiling VLC myself to see if it's going to appear then, and then it hit me. If it's going to appear, obviously the file is in one of the folders in the source. Cool, I really like that. And he also adds, sadly this confirms that there aren't any other easter egg cones. I guess there aren't, except of course the Christmas one, but if I remember correctly, that always appears around Christmas, n nothing hidden. Now he also tweeted his finding. I found the code responsible. The video LAN devs split the string, making it harder to find with a naive search attempts I tried first. And video LAN responded, good catch, also kilobytes per seconds could be something valid. K-I-B-P-S, by directional, does it mean anything? Is more hidden here? Maybe? That will remain a mystery.